For the past month, I've been designing, coding, and building this, my first smart device. Why build it? How does it work? And what stopped me from finishing this project two years ago? You're about to find out. G'day, I'm Cam, and in my YouTube journey so far, I've been incredibly blessed. My first video was shown by Dolby Digital, I won a major category in a short film competition, and more recently, I partnered with Intel for a dream collaboration. And whilst those accomplishments can bring a boost of motivation, the day-to-day -day is still a lot of hard work, and when I log into YouTube to view my metrics, they can be a total buzzkill. Down arrows, negatives, it's a love-hate relationship. So I decided to make my own dashboard, a smart device that will tell me how much you're enjoying my videos and not how much an algorithm is because it can show more ads or gets more views through clickbait. Here's the plan. To obtain YouTube metrics, I need to make this device talk to YouTube servers, making it a smart device. The brains of this operation will be a Raspberry Pi Zero W. This is a mini computer with Wi-Fi that you can program to do almost anything. The Pi Zero specifically has a small power draw, making it an eco-friendly choice for a dashboard. It's gonna be connected to an e-paper display. They take a while to refresh, but they only use power when doing so, which means I could leave this on all day long and it's not wasting electricity. I'm calling this device the Motivation Maker. Up top, a quote. No Pinterest sunset fluff. These are a collection that I've gathered that truly keep me on track. In the center, an epoch a time marked by an event that begins a new period or development. For me, that was the 18th of July, 2018, when I decided to make YouTube videos. Down below, YouTube metrics. These will be three readouts of analytics and one bar to signify progress towards a goal. So I've got random quote picker working. I pulled the data in from the Google sheet and then I can just pick just the specific quote that I want from a list and randomize that. The problem is that WordRap doesn't exist on a program that you're writing. I managed to create some logic that cut the quote at a certain word length, then checked if it fits on the e-paper screen's 250 pixel width. If it doesn't, it'll keep cutting the word back and check again until it fits. Honestly, I thought whacking some words on a screen was gonna be the least of my worries, but getting that silly looping logic working took longer than I'd like to admit. But the YouTube analytics, that was truly tricky. And this is why I gave up on this project two years ago. Sup Google, can I have some uh, private data for the Camshan YouTube channel? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, just go to this website, type in a code, and log in with an account that has permission to that data. And done. Perfect, looks good. Here's a secret passcode and a refresh token. Now, that passcode expires in one hour's time, so come back to me with the refresh token and I'll give you a new one. Just saves you logging in all the time. Oh, thanks, that was so easy. It wasn't easy. To get the code equivalent of that conversation took me eight hours straight. Getting data from a server typically calls for an API key, and this key unlocks the data inside. In terms of YouTube, the API key gives you public data, such as subscriber and view count for any channel. But to get private data, like how long someone watched one of your YouTube videos, that key doesn't work. You need to pass the auth 2.0 verification. Now there are pre-written resources out there, but I couldn't find anything for a device without an input method like my dashboard. Hey boys. Oh, thanks for the cuddle. Yeah, appreciate it. All right, micro USB dongle. Micro, winner. There's a pressure that's taking too long that I'm not um, outputting enough because I'm spending time making something. But at the end of the day, this is what I really enjoy, and I think I need to just allow myself to enjoy the moment, savor it. I uh, just enjoy the process of making stuff. After 3D modeling an enclosure, I sent it to the printer. I'd hoped that the white would blend in with my custom 3D printed speaker stands. I know, subtle flex, but you should check out the vid on them after this. But the white stood out too much, so I switched back to black PLA for housing. To power the Raspberry Pi, I tried making a short USB-A to micro USB cable, but that wasn't going to work, so I ended up reducing the length of the USB-A tip and wiring power to the 5 volt GPO headers. For now, everything is just hot glued in place. I'll add a back plate later. At initial startup, it'll connect to my home Wi-Fi, then request and display the code from Google's authentication service. On another device, such as my phone, I can log in and authenticate with my YouTube channel. With access granted, the data begins to sync down and the display is refreshed. Up top, we have the quote pulled from a Google spreadsheet. 
in the center, an epoch counting how many days since I decided to make YouTube videos. And down below, we have the average watch percentage of my most recent upload, how many new subscribers joined in the past 30 days, and the number of comments on my channel over this month versus last month. The progress bar goal is currently set to 10,000 subscribers. And currently being at 7,500 subscribers, we're three quarters of the way through that progress bar. Speaking of which, to contribute, hit subscribe down below, turn on notifications so I can see you in my next video. Over the years, I've been pushing myself with different DIY projects, and initially, some of them looked a bit mediocre, but more recently, they're starting to live up to my expectations. I just wanna say I'm really happy with how this project has turned out. Um, this is my first time using an API and a bit of code that I've written, let alone creating an entire lock-on system for Google. I guess I wanna leave you with, if you've got a dream idea, stick at it. If you continue to learn and grow every day, eventually, it just might work out. <laughs> Next grant.